And we're back with yet another Pico CTF challenge. Wave a flag. Can you invoke help flags for a tool or binary? This program has extraordinarily helpful information. Let's download it. And let's open it up to take a look. So we can see this can't be displayed because it's binary. We can take a look anyway though. And we see it's ELF. So we can't run this on Windows because ELF is a Linux based uh, file format. So we will go and fire up our web shell. And this is actually getting pretty annoying for me because I have to keep logging into this. So I'll do this once more, but then I'm going to move to using a, a Ubuntu and a Kali, Kali Linux. VM when I need uh, anything Linux related and it's just gonna be a lot more convenient for me but I want to show you guys one more time how to use this see it's even slow it's kind of driving me nuts so we are going to see what we have in our current directory we're gonna clear this out and we are going to download it by copying the address Going back here and doing a wget, wget pulls the file. Think of it like a file download. And there we can see our warm executable. We need to make it so it's, I'll show you guys what would happen. So permission denied. The reason is when we do a listing, uh, LL is a shortcut for something like ls minus lath where um, I don't even know what all these are a shows you hidden files h makes it human readable t I think is tabular l means something else um, it's a bunch of options you probably want so it, you can see it's very similar so let's clear use ll and here you can see all the permissions you can see the owner the group the file names the file sizes and if we look so these these ones that are prefixed with the dot they're all uh, hidden by default if you didn't do uh, ls with a minus a option you wouldn't see them so when we look at the bottom at our warm executable we can see we don't have execute rights so we need to change that so we'll chmod warm so it's executable and it says hello user pass me a minus h to learn what i can do minus h is a, a flag so it's an input that you give to a program or anything like that that gives it options to tell you tell it what you intend to get out of it oh help i actually don't do much but i do have this flag here and then we see pico ctf biscuits and gravy We'll take that, we will plug it in, and we should have solved this. Oh, I, I hate this web shell. I'm going to show you guys my setup in just a minute after this, which I would recommend for anybody who's serious about doing CTFs. So hooray, we solved it. And if we look at our hints, uh, the program will only work in the web shell or another Linux computer. So we just saw that. I can't run this on Windows. Uh, this is to grab it. They tell you to use wget, which we did. We have to chmod it to make it executable. That's what they're telling us there. Minus h and minus help are very common arguments to pass. So those are flags, like I was telling you. And not everything implements it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go over to my Ubuntu uh, VM and we'll take a quick look at that guy. So I'm also logged in here to Pico CTF. And so I could just quickly come over. I could bring this in. Oh, I've, I've already done it. Let's ignore that. I'll do this all over again. Do a wget. Perfect, we got 
it's actually warm.1 if you notice because I had already downloaded warm. I cheated. And I also already ch modded it. You can see by the nice color coding that it's green. That means it's executable. But we'll do it for the new one, just so you guys can see. OK. And then we'll run it. And it tells us the exact same hint that the other one did. We give it the minus H flag. And we get our flag. I guess that could be confusing for new people. Uh, this this is a flag, and we're looking for flags. Argument is another word for it. All right. So going forward, I'll be using uh, Linux VMs. So just as a heads up. All right. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.